Hi students, I am continuing uh, the chapter trigonometric functions and today I am going to discuss miscellaneous questions. So it's an important problem. So listen carefully. This is our first question. Prove that 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 pi by 13 plus cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13 equal to 0. Okay, so let's start the solution of this question starting with the LHS. That is our LHS is 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 pi by 13 plus cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13. So, let us consider these two terms. And we know that uh, one of the identity cos x plus cos y is equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2. Right. So next I am going to use uh, this formula in this uh, cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13. So, our next step will become 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 pi by 13 plus 2 into cos. Here replacing this x by 3 pi by 13 and this y by 5 pi by 13. Here we get 3 pi by 13 plus 5 pi by 13 divided by 2 into cos 3 pi by 13 minus 5 pi by 13 whole divided by 2. Okay. And this, this will further equal to 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 by 13 plus 2 cos. Uh, if you observe in our nu numerator, here the denominator part is same. So, uh, we, so I am going to add the numerator. So, it will become 3 pi plus 5 pi and whole divided by 2. Similarly, this can be also written as 3 pi minus 5 pi by 13 whole divided by 2. And it is further equal to 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 pi, 9 pi by 13 plus 2 cos 3 pi plus 5 pi 8 pi divided by this 13 goes to the denominator and it will become 8 pi by 13 into 2 and the next is term cos of 3 pi minus 2 pi become minus 2 pi and here also this 13 goes to the denominator and here these 2 and 4 will cancel and uh, it will become 4 here and these 2 2 will cancel each other okay and this can be also written as uh, 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 pi by 13 plus 2 cos 4 pi by 13 into cos minus pi by 13. Okay. And we know that cos minus x is equal to cos x. Right. So, in the, stress, in the next step, cos minus pi by 3 pi by 13 will become cos pi by 13. So, this is further equal to 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 pi by 13 plus 2 cos 4 pi by 13 into cos of pi by 13. So, I am using this identity here. Okay. So, if you observe 
these two terms here cos pi by 13 is common and 2 2 is also common so taking 2 cos pi by 13 outside and it will become 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 pi by 13 plus cos 4 pi by 13 and again I am using the same uh, formula cos x plus cos y equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 so here replacing x by uh, 9 pi by 13 and y by 4 pi by 13 using the formula this step will become 2 cos pi by 13 into 2 cos x plus y by 2 will become 9 pi by 13 plus 4 pi by 13 divided by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 will become 9 pi by 13 minus 4 pi by 13 divided by 2. Okay. And this is further equal to 2 cos pi by 13 into 2 cos. Again this can be written as 9 pi plus 4 pi by 13 whole divided by 2 into cos. 9 pi minus 4 pi by 13 whole divided by 2 and 2 cos pi by 13 into 2 into cos 9 plus 4 9 pi plus 4 pi will become 13 pi and this 13 is goes to the denominator and into cos 9 pi minus 4 pi means 5 pi and here also 13 goes to the denominator okay and these two pi by 3 sorry these two 13 uh, will cancel each other and here uh, we get 2 cos pi by 13 into 2 cos pi by 2 into cos 5 pi by 13 into 2 so if we observe this step the value of cos pi by 2 is 0. So this term will become 0. Okay. So our question we need to prove that LHS equal to 0. So here we get 0 that means RHS. So LHS equal to RHS hence proved. I hope you understood this question. This is our next question. Prove that sin 3x plus sin x into sin x plus cos 3x minus cos x into cos x equal to 0. So let's start the solution of this question. We need to prove that LHS equal to 0. Okay. So uh, starting with the LHS. That is sin 3x plus sin x into sin x plus cos 3x minus cos x into cos x. Okay. So, so in the next step, I am going to open this bracket. So, uh, this step will become sin 3x into sin x plus sin x into sin x. That is sin square x plus cos 3x into cos x minus cos x into cos x means cos square x. Okay. Next, I am going to write these two terms together. So, this will become cos 3x into cos x plus sin 3x into sin x. And also remaining terms 
I'm going to write uh, sin square x minus cos square x here. Okay. So, if we observe these two terms, this is in the form of cos x cos y plus sin x sin y equal to, we know that the formula is equal to sin x, sorry, cos x minus y, right? So, in the next step, I am going to replace this uh, formula. So, uh, we get cos of, here x is replaced by 3x and y is replaced by x. So, by using this formula, this term will become cos 3x minus x. And uh, next two terms reminds the, so, uh, reminds the same. Okay. And this will equal to cos 3x minus 2x become 2x plus sin square x minus cos square x, right? And we know that one of the formula of cos 2x, that cos square x minus sin square x equal to cos 2x, right? So, by using this formula, taking a negative from these two terms, so it will become cos 2x minus of cos square x minus sin square x. And the next step, I am going to replace this cos square x mi minus sin square x by cos 2x. So, here we get cos 2x minus, this term will become cos 2x. And the value of cos 2x minus cos 2x is 0. So, uh, in our question, we need to prove that our LHS is equal to 0. So, we have proved e equal to 0. That is our RHS. So, in this question, we get LHS equal to RHS, hence proved. Okay, I hope you understood this question. This is our third question. In this question, we need to prove that cos x plus cos y whole square plus sin x minus sin y whole square is equal to 4 into cos square x plus y by 2. Okay, so let's start the solution of this question. Here, uh, starting with the LHS. Now, our LHS is cos x plus cos y all square plus sin x minus sin y whole square. So, here I am going to expand this cos x plus cos y all square using a plus b whole square identity. And what is the value of a plus b whole square? a square plus 2ab plus b square. And here also I am going to use a minus b all square identity and the value of a minus b all square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, so this will become using uh, in the first term I am going to use this identity. So it will become uh, cos square x that is replacing this a by cos x and b by cos y. Here we here we get cos x all square and it can be also written as cos square x plus 2 into cos x cos y plus cos y all square and it can be also written as cos square y. Okay. Plus and the second term I am going to use this identity and also replacing this a by sin x and b by sin y. So here we get, uh, we get sin square x minus 2 into sin x sin y plus sin square y. Okay. In the next step, I am rearranging these two terms. That is, uh, first of all, I am going to write cos square x plus sin square x together and also 
this cos square y and sin square y. So the next step will become cos square x plus sin square x plus cos square y plus sin square y and also write the remaining term that is uh, 2 cos x cos y minus 2 sin x sin y ok so we know that uh, cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 so by using this identity these two term cos square x plus sin square x equal to 1 and cos, cos square y plus sin square y is also become 1 and uh, if you observe these two term uh, 2 is common so taking this 2 outside and here we get 2 into cos x cos y minus sin x sin y ok so in the next step uh, 1 plus 1 will become 2 plus 2 into this is cos x plus uh, cos x cos y minus sin x sin y is equal to cos x plus y right this is the formula of cos x plus y so in the next uh, term I am going to replace the whole term by cos x plus y ok next uh, we know that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus uh, sorry uh, 2 cos square x minus 1 so one of the formula of cos 2x is 2 cos square x minus 1 so uh, using this formula I need only cos x so here if you observe uh, these two term the um, uh, half of this angle is take taking here ok so uh, by using this formula cos x will become 2 cos square half of x is x by 2 right minus 1 ok so using this formula I am going to uh, expand cos x plus y as 2 cos square x plus y by 2 minus 1 and cos x plus y can also be written as 2 cos square x plus y by 2 minus 1 ok so next I am going to replace this cos x plus y value in the in this step so it will become 2 plus 2 into 2 cos square x plus y by 2 minus 1 ok so if you observe uh, our question our LHS uh, here angle uh, we need is half of the angle right so uh, that's why I use the uh, this formula here ok so this will become uh, this is further equal to 2 plus uh, open this bracket uh, here we get 2 into 2 4 cos square x plus y by 2 and also minus 2 and cancelling these 2 and plus 2 and minus 2 and here we get 4 into cos square x plus y by 2 and in in our question LHS uh, we need to find the RHS as 4 cos square x plus y by 2 right so here we reach 4 cos square x plus y by 2 that is our RHS so LHS equal to RHS hence proved ok This is our next question. Prove that cos x minus cos y the whole square plus sin x minus sin y the whole square equal to 4 sin square x minus y by 2. So let's start the solution of this question starting with the LHS and our LHS is 
cos x minus cos y the whole square plus sin x minus sin y the whole square. Okay. So here I am going to use the entity a minus b all square. That is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So uh, by using this uh, entity I am going to expand these two terms. So our next step will be equal to uh, cos square x minus 2 cos x cos y plus cos square y plus in the, in the next step also I am using the same formula here. So expand using a minus b whole square or replacing this a by sin x and b by sin y it will be, become sin square x minus 2 sin x sin y plus sin square y okay next i am going to rearrange uh, first i am going to uh, write these two terms together and these two terms together so it will become cos square x plus sin square x plus cos, cos square y plus sin square y and write also other terms here that is minus 2 cos x cos y minus 2 sin x sin y. Okay. So we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 right. So in the next step cos square x plus sin square x will become 1. And cos square y plus sin square y will also become 1. And in these two uh, in, do, in these two terms, minus 2 are common. So taking minus 2 outside, it uh, will become cos x cos y plus sin x sin y. Okay. So 1 plus 1 will become 2 minus 2 into this is our expansion of cos x minus y right. Okay so we know that cos 2x one of the formula of cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sin square x. Because uh, if you observe our question the LRHS term containing sin square term and also the angle is half of angle is present so i'm using here uh, this formula okay so next i'm going to uh, take cos x value by using this formula cos x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 All right so uh, next i'm going to replace this x by x minus y uh, here we get 2 minus 2 into replacing this x by x minus y. Uh, the formula will become 1 minus 2 sin square x minus y by 2. Okay. So next I am going to um, opening this bracket. So it will become minus 2 here. And minus of minus 2 into minus 2 will become plus 4 sin square x minus y by 2 and plus 2 and minus 2 will cancel each other and here we get 4 sin square x minus y by 2 so if we observe our question this is our arches right 4 sin square x minus y by 2 is our arches so here we get which is equal to arches so we are starting with the LHS and now uh, we have get uh, RHS. So LHS equal to RHS and proved. I hope you understood this question. This 
is our next question. Prove that sin x plus sin 3x plus sin 5x plus sin 7x equal to 4 cos x into cos 2x into sin 4x. So let's start the solution of this question starting with LHS. And our LHS is sin x plus sin 3x plus sin 5x plus sin 7x. Okay, so rearranging this sin x plus sin 5x. I am taking this sin x sin 5x together and sin 3x plus sin 7x together. Okay, and we know that one of the identity sin x plus sin y is equal to uh, 2 sin x plus y by 2 into sin x sin l sorry cos uh, cos x minus y by 2 right so sin x plus sin y is equal to 2 sin x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 so i am going to use this formula here so taking these two term i am going to apply this uh, formula so replacing this uh, this x by x and y by 5x here we get 2 into sin of x plus 5x divided by 2 into cos x minus 5x divided by 2 okay similarly taking these uh, these two term and also using this formula so uh, replacing this x by 3x and y by 7x here also we get 2 into sine of 3x plus 7x by 2 into cos of 3x minus 7x by 2. Okay. And it will further equal to 2 sin x plus 5x becomes 6x by 2 into cos x minus 5x will become minus 4x by 2 plus 2 sin 3x plus 7x will become 10x by 2 into cos of 3x minus 7x will become minus 4x divided by 2. Okay, so cancelling this 2 and 6 it will become 3 here and cancelling this 2 and 4 the numerator will become minus 2 here. And cancelling this 2 and 10, numerator will become 5x here. And cancelling this 2 and 4x, uh, it will become minus 2x here. So it can also written as 2 sin 3x into cos minus 2x plus 2 sin 5x into cos minus 2x okay and we know that cos minus theta is equal to cos theta itself so using this formula i am going to replace this cos minus 2x by cos 2x so this is further equal to 2 sin 3x into cos 2x plus 2 sin 5x into cos 2x. So observing these two term 2 and cos 2x are common. So taking 2 cos 2x outside and the remaining terms are sin 3x plus sin 5x. Okay. Uh, again using this formula. So replacing this uh, x by uh, x by 3x and y by 5x in this formula it will become 2 cos 2x into 2 sin 3x plus 5x by 2 into cos 3x minus 5x by 2 
okay and it is equal to 2 cos 2x into 2 sin 3x plus 5x will become 8x by 2 into cos 3x minus 5x will become minus 2x by 2 and the and these 2, 2 will cancel each other. And here also 2 and 8 will cancel and it will become 4x here. And this is further equal to 2 cos 2x into 2 sin 4x into cos of minus x. Okay. So, here cos minus x can uh, also written as cos x by using cos minus theta equal to cos theta formula so this can also be written as 2 into 2 will become 4 here and cos 2x into sin 4x into cos minus x can be written as cos x so if we observe our question 4 cos x into cos 2x into sin 4x that is rearranging this. We here also we get co, 4 into cos x cos 2x into sin 4x. And this is our RHS right. So hence proved. Okay. I hope you understood this question. Uh, this is our next question. Prove that sin 7x plus sin 5x plus sin 9x plus sin 3x divided by cos 7x plus cos 5x plus cos 9x plus cos 3x equal to tan 6x. Okay. So, let's start the solution of this question starting with LHS and our LHS is sin 7x plus sin 5x plus sin 9x plus 9 3x whole divided by cos 7x plus cos 5x plus cos 9x plus cos 3x okay so here in the numerator is in the form of one of the identity sin x plus sin y. And what is the formula? Sin 2 sin x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2. Right. So uh, if you observe in the denominator and this is also... Uh, same as that of one of the identity that is cos x plus cos y and this is equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2. So next I am going to use these two formulas in numerator and denominator. So uh, using first identity in the denominator, it will become sin 7. So, considering sin 7x plus sin 5x. So, replacing this x by 7x and y by 5x. Here we get 2 into sin 7x plus 5x divided by 2 into cos 7x minus 5x divided by 2. Okay. Plus, uh, let us consider these two terms. Uh, uh, this is SIA same as that of uh, this identity, right? So, uh, replacing this x by 9x and y by 3x here, it will become 2 sin 9x plus 3x by 2 into cos 9x minus 3x divided by 2. Okay whole divided by whole divided by uh, in the denominator I am going to use this identity so let us consider cos 7x plus cos 5x first so replacing this x by 7x and y by cos 5x it will become 
टू कोस सेवन एक्स प्लस फाइव एक्स बाई टू इन टू कोस सेवन एक्स माइनस फाइव एक्स बाई टू प्लस एंड अगेन कंसिडर दिस कोस नाइन एक्स प्लस कोस थ्री एक्स टर्म यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मुला रिप्लेसिंग दिस एक्स बाई नाइन एक्स एंड वाई बाई थ्री एक्स इट विल बिकम टू टू कोस नाइन एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स बाई टू इन टू कोस नाइन एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स बाई टू ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई एम नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी टू इन टू साइन सेवन एक्स प्लस फाइव एक्स बिकम ट्वेल्व एक्स डिवाइड बाई टू इन टू कोस सेवन एक्स माइनस फाइव एक्स बिकम टू एक्स बाई टू प्लस टू साइन नाइन एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स विल बिकम ट्वेल्व एक्स ऑल्सो राइट दिस डिवाइड बाई टू इन टू कोस नाइन एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स विल बिकम सिक्स एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू होल डिवाइडेड बाई द डिनोमिनेटर विल चेंजेस टू टू कोस सेवन एक्स प्लस फाइव एक्स बिकम ट्वेल्व एक्स डिवाइड बाई टू इन टू कोस सेवन एक्स माइनस फाइव एक्स विल बिकम टू एक्स बाई टू प्लस टू इन टू कोस नाइन एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स विल बिकम ट्वेल्व एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू इन टू कोस नाइन एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स विल बिकम सिक्स एक्स बाई टू ओके so next time I'm going to uh, cancel this two and twelve here uh, here on the numerator uh, we get six x here and canceling these two two and canceling this two and twelve it will become six x here and canceling this two and three numerator it will become three x canceling this two and twelve this will become six uh, And cancelling these two two, and here cancelling these two and twelve, it will become six x here. Cancelling these two and six, here it here it becomes three x. Okay, and this is further equal to two sine six x cos x plus two sine six x cos three x whole divided by Two cos six x cos x plus two cos six x cos three x. Right. So if we observe in the numerator, here two is common and also sine six is common. Right. So taking Two sine six x outside, and the remaining terms are so taking two sine six x from numerator, right? So the remaining terms are cos x plus cos three x whole divided by. If we observe in the denominator term here. Two and cos six x are common, so taking two cos six x outside, and the remaining uh, terms are cos x plus cos three x. Okay, so if we observe these two terms, cos x plus cos three x, and uh, numerator and both denominator contain cos x plus cos three x, so Both two term will cancel each other, and here and also two two will cancel each other, and here we get uh, sine six x divided by cos six x, and we know that sine by cos is tan, so sine six x by cos six x become tan six x. So we need to prove that in this question LHS is equal to tan six x. So now proved. So this is our arches. Okay, so hence we can write it as hence proved. Okay, I hope you understood this question.
Uh, this is our last question. Prove that sin 3x plus sin 2x minus sin x equal to 4 sin x cos x by 2 into cos 3x by 2. So, let's start the solution of this question starting with the LHS and our LHS is sin 3x plus sin 2x minus sin x. So, rearranging this term here I am going to uh, write a bracket in these two terms so first of all I am going to take these two terms ok so this is in the form of sin x minus sin y right so uh, the formula is equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2. Okay. So, replacing this x by 2x and y by x and these term will become sin 3x plus 2 into cos 2x plus x divided by 2 into sin 2x minus x by 2. Okay. So, this is further equal to sin 3x plus 2 cos 2x plus x become 3x by 2 into sin 2x minus x will become x by 2. Okay. So, next I am going to use uh, one of the RDT that is sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x cos x right. So using this formula I need only sin x value. So this formula can also be written as 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 that is in this formula uh, the half of this angle is here. So half of x is x by 2. So, I am writing x by 2 here. Okay. So, using this formula, uh, write uh, uh, the expansion of uh, sin 3x as 2 sin, uh, replacing this uh, x by 3x here, we get 2 sin 3x by 2 into cos 3x by 2. And the remaining terms, I am going to write here. Okay. So, if you observe these two terms, uh, 2 cos 2 is common and also cos 3x is common. So, taking 2 cos 3x by 2 outside and the remaining terms are sin 3x by 2 in plus sin x by 2. Okay. Again using the identity sin x plus sin y is equal to 2 sin x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 right. So here I am going to replace this x by 3x by 2 and y by x by 2. Our This step will become 2 cos 3x by 2 into 2 sin uh, 3x by 2 plus x by 2 whole divided by 2 into cos 3x by 2 minus x by 2 whole divided by 2. Okay. And this is further equal to 2 cos 3x by 2 into 2 sin and this can be also written as 3x plus x by 2 whole divided by 2 into cos uh, 3x minus x by 2 whole divided by 2. Okay. And this is further equal to 2 cos 3x by 2 into 2 sin 3x plus 4 will become 4x and these two uh, goes to the denominator 
ओके इनटू कोस थ्री एक्स माइनस एक्स बिकम टू एक्स एंड हियर आल्सो दिस टू इज गोस टू द डिनोमिनेटर एंड इट इज फर्दर इक्वल टू टू कोस थ्री एक्स बाय टू इनटू टू साइन फोर एक्स बाय फोर इनटू कोस टू एक्स बाय फोर सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप I am going to cancel these two four and canceling these two and four. It uh, the denominator will become two here, and here we get two into two four cos three x by two into sine x into cos x by two. So uh, let us look at our uh, question. um this is our lhs and this is our rhs right so rearranging this term our rhs is equal to 4 sin x into cos x by 2 into cos 3x by 2 and this is as same as that of our rhs so it can also written as rhs okay therefore uh, we can write It has LHS equal to RHS, hence proved. Okay, I hope you understood this question.